I haven't done this for a couple of weeks, have I? If not longer. So I thought I'd bring you into my studio today because this is the day before lots of paintings go to my framer tomorrow for Battersea Affordable Art Fair, which is in June. So all of this has to happen way ahead of schedule in order for me to keep up with any of the painting. So anyway, I'll flip you around and show you my studio, which is littered with paintings today and talk you through the last minute panic. <laughs> I thought I'd talk you through uh, the paintings um, and it's always right at the last minute. I'm like, oh, I know how I want to change this painting because I've lived with it for a while. So with this painting here, I just need to bring those grasses up on the right hand side a little bit more. This one, it's a bit of a different colour palette for me. That one's done and it's been named now, so that can go in its bag, ready for Leslie. Um, this painting here actually is for Hong Kong, but that one's finished and it's just drying off. So that one's featured heavily on my Instagram this week. This painting, see all these white bits here? That's actually gloss and medium gel, which helps to give the idea just really subtly, once it's dry, it goes transparent. Um, of the light hitting the trees. So that one's done, named, just needs to dry. And then we've got this painting over here, which actually is for Hong Kong, I've remembered. So this one's for Hong Kong, but I wanna get it packaged up and in the house. So that'll be ready for framing in a couple of weeks time. Um, there's a sort of like, appears like there's yellow missing here. So I just need a few bits of yellow. And then these two, last night, I was working on them on my iPad. I'll actually insert the little, the little pictures. If you remember my, my 10 second art tip, this is often what I do is I go actually and photograph paintings and then anything that I think, oh, I think I need to take a risk on that. I often take it on my iPad first. Be looking at this one today, I'm not so sure. I just don't know. Ah. So um, it's because this yellow is gorse, and I feel like it doesn't have that density and spikiness that gorse has. I sort of want it to be less pretty and more gorse-like, have those gorse-like qualities. And I always knew that this was missing a focal point, but I've decided on how I'm gonna create the tree and what color it's going to be in there. So, absolute blinking chaos in here right now. Look at that stiffy bags everywhere but um, a little bit of fiddling around today and everything will be ready to go to Leslie tomorrow I'm really looking forward to seeing that one framed up sun the skies I don't do very often I do like drama so I hope you enjoyed that little insight I never quite know whether I should be doing this or not or whether it's um useful to you so actually would you just would you pop in the comments because um, if you're getting something out of this or you want something more out of these studio tools then I can give them to you um, but I, I think I'm flying a bit blind I, I, I really need to ask so anyway hope you enjoyed it put in the comments the sort of thing that you would like to see I, it would be really useful for me to know and have a fantastic day bye